Dad? Yeah. I need a few supplies for school, and I was wondering if... Yeah, there are a couple of pencils and an eraser in the kitchen drawer, I think. Dad, I'm in eighth grade now. Oh. And I need real supplies for my demanding classes. Oh, so you need a ruler too? Dad, <laughs> I need some high-tech stuff. Ooh. Like a calculator, mm -hmm. a Palm Pilot, and a laptop computer. Uh, I didn't have any of that when I was in middle school, and I did just fine. Yeah, and there weren't any cars either, were there? <laughs> oh. And things are just more progressive now. Well, we can rule out that hand pilot. Palm pilot, Dad. Oh, whatever. And the computer, unless Mom lets you sell the car. And as for that adding machine... Calculator. Oh, yeah. I think mine from college is kicking around here somewhere. Dad, I need a calculator for geometry. And I have heard you can download free software from the Internet. Great. My daughter will be playing video games in geometry class. Dad... Okay, how much is this going to cost me? Well, I saw it at the store for only $99. Ooh. With a $10 mailing rebate. Ooh. Or you could buy it online. Oh, do they throw in a few aspirin so your father can recover from sticker shock? Dad, please. Everyone has one. Well, I've heard that one before. And you've always said... You wanted me to excel in school, mm. and I'll chip in ten dollars of my own, mm. and I'll even clean up my room. Hey, a mm. hundred bucks. Well, you'll be supporting me in my old age, so I guess, when do you need it? Now, right now. now. Right Mom's now. already waiting in the car for us. She said she would buy me an ice cream if I could talk you into buying it for me today. Oh, no, I can't believe this. Oh, yeah. man. Hey, uh, you look really unhappy. What's going on? Ah, uh, you don't want to know. Okay, see ya. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you walking away? Well, you said I didn't want to know. No, wait. You see, my parents really don't love me. What do you mean? When I met them last week, they seemed really caring. Ah, ah, you don't understand. You see, I want a new smartphone. I, I, I mean, I need one. And my parents won't buy me it. Excuse me, but uh, don't you already have an iPhone? <sighs> Man, yeah, but it's three months old. And it has a small scratch on it. Where? Let look, me look. see. Let me see. Look, look, look. I don't see a scratch. D look, look right here. That? Do you just, see it? It's just a speck of dust. Anyway, and my other phone... What? You're... You have two phones? That's beside the so, point. So, did your parents give you a reason for not buying you a new phone? Not a good one. Only something about being self-reliant and not no. being so yeah. entitled or something like that. And now they want me to work. On the neighbor's farm to pay for it. Good idea. It, it's not fair. Hey, I, I think I know the problem. Take look. a look in the mirror. You'll see both the problem uh. and the solution. Ah, you're no help. James. James, wake up! What? Why did you wake me up? It is two in the afternoon. Only two? I'm going back to bed. No, you have to get up. You will be late for that class again. Oh, can't you just take notes for me again? No, I did that last time. Yeah. And I am not doing that again. You need to get more sleep and get into a better routine. Routine? Like what? Yeah, you should get up no later than 6.30... 6.30? That gives you plenty of time for a 30-minute workout. <laughs> You've got to be joking. No way. And I already exercised. I turn off the alarm clock. 
And it takes a lot of strength and endurance to get up at that unspeakable hour. You need to get to bed no later than nine. Nine? Yes, you need at least eight hours of sleep. That's what science says. And sleeping in class does not count. Going to bed at three in the morning is a terrible way to live. I mean, how many hours do you even get? (laughs) Well, wait, I get about five hours. Wait, wait, well, four hours. If you're generous. Or, 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 well, sometimes three, but I do better on less sleep. And I don't want to sleep my life no, away. This is unbelievable. You need sleep. Caffeine is not an acceptable substitute. <laughs> I have seen you fall asleep while driving. James, James, do not fall asleep while I'm talking to you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just resting my eyes. Oh, oh, sure. Fine, fine. You you fail that class, you see if I care. <laughs> hey, are, are you okay? Yeah, I, I just have a cold, I think. No... No, you don't. You've sounded yeah. like that for a while. You smoke. And you're dying from it. What? Well, you know, I'm just I'm just a casual smoker. I can quit any time I want. No, you can't. You yeah. smoke te- you smoke two packs a day. And I don't call that a casual smoker. Hey, it's my choice. So butt out. We've talked about this before. And I'm tired of you, Mom, and Dad nagging me about it all the time. Okay, but what about your kids? Don't you worry about how your smoking is affecting them? It's not a problem. I smoke outside. Yeah, but don't you worry that they'll start smoking too? No, they won't. I know my kids. I trust them. Yeah, yeah. Didn't you say that Jacob got caught smoking a week ago at school? Yeah, but it was the first time. He's he's under a lot of pressure these days. <laughs> right. The first time you know of. He's lying to you. I trust him. Really? Well, what about these cigarettes? Which, I, what? Right here. No, oh. I found them in his clothes when he stayed over last night. Listen. No, they're, they're probably not his. They're his. He's following your example. You can't expect him not to smoke when you smoke yourself. Hey, don't tell me how to raise my kids. It's my job. I won't have to. You're killing yourself and someone else is going to be raising your kids for you. What does that mean? Figure it out. Listen, I've got to go now. If you want to talk more, I'll be at Mom's house. Whatever. Woo! It's pretty cold today. Yeah. My fingers are numb. So, do you often ski here? No, this is my first time. Actually, this is my first time skiing ever. Wow. So, how do you like it so far? The snow is great. Yeah. But it's too crowded. Do you know, two people crashed into me on my first run, and oh. some stupid skier was going way too fast, drove me into some trees. Wow. I crashed and lost one of my gloves. Oh, man. For- fortunately, I had an extra pair with me. Wow. Well, did the woman stop and apologize? No, it was a man. I'm certain of it. And he, oh. just, he just laughed at me. <laughs> Why do you think it was a woman, anyway? Oh. Well, no reason. I mean, well, you know. What? You know what? Oh, uh, nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> you just wait till I find that guy. Oh, well, what are you going to do to him? I mean, if you find him. First, I'm going to break his skis. Oh, well, and at least Then you I'm going to take his picture and post it on Facebook. Oh, uh, don't you think that's a little drastic? Perhaps it was... A simple mistake. And how are you going to identify him anyway? Oh, that's easy. He was wearing bright red boots and a purple hat. Um, just like yours. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, no. Wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. 
What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why are you looking at me? You don't think it was me, do you? <laughs> oh, do you like jazz music? Hey, man, what's up? Ah, uh, first of all, I put a buck in the vending machine for a 75 cent candy bar, and the thing got stuck here in the machine. Then I pressed oh, the change man. button, and nothing happened. Wow. Nothing came out. The dumb thing still owes me a quarter. Well, did you talk to the man at the snack bar to see if he could refund your money? Yeah, I tried that, but he said he didn't own the machine, and I have to call a phone number on the machine. What a bummer. Hey, I have an idea. What? Why don't we rock the machine back and forth until the candy bar falls? Nothing doing. I don't want to be responsible for breaking the thing. And besides, someone might call the cops. Ah, uh, don't worry. I've done it before. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, hey, tough luck. Hey, here, take my candy bar. You mean? Yeah, the machine and I hit it off earlier today. Well, hi there. What are you looking for today? Uh, I'm just looking. Well, how about a ring for someone special? There is no one special. Well, take a look at the CD player. A great bargain today only. Nah, I already have one. Plus, the handle is cracked. Okay. Well, what about this genuine leather jacket? It would look great on you. Hmm, let me take a look at it. Sure. Hmm. There are stains on the sleeves. I'll pass. Well, okay. Well, wouldn't you like to walk home with some of these great records? Some of the best hits from the 1960s. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Now, here's something I'd... Ah, these records are scratched. <laughs> oh, well, just in a couple places. Listen. I'll sell you these ten records for fifty dollars. A steal. Whoa, they're way too expensive. I'll give you twenty-five bucks for them. <laughs> Come on, I can't charge you less than thirty dollars and break even. Well, that guy over there is selling similar records for a much better price. So thanks anyway. Wait, 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 wait. You drive a hard bargain. Twenty-eight dollars, and that's my final offer. Huh. I'll think about it. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, I'll even throw in this vase. Now, what am I going to do with a vase? Well, you can give it to that someone special when you find her, and this ring would look great with it. Oh, I'll stick with the records. Hey, so how are things going? Well, great, if you're talking about the weather. What do you mean? Well, I have to drop out of school because I don't have the money for tuition. What? I mean, your dad gave you enough money to pay for tuition, books, and room, and board for the whole year. Uh, well, to be honest, I spent some of the money on a new motorcycle. What? Your old one was working just fine. Yeah, but my girlfriend didn't like the color. I can't believe this. Really? <laughs> I mean, seriously? Well, what about the rest of the money? Yeah, well, I spent some on a new smartphone, a few dollars on some designer clothing, and a new dog. And now? Ugh. I need a loan to pay for school. Well, just sell the motorcycle. I can't do that. I wouldn't have a way to get around. Well, what about a student loan? Yeah, that's an idea. Do you know where I can get one? No, or you can ask your dad for more money. I can't do that. I'm not that desperate. I'll just have to figure it out for myself. Hi, how can I help you? Uh, I'd like to get a souvenir for my wife. Something special from this area. 
okay, well, how about this nice pearl necklace? It's locally sourced from the nearby sea. Uh, yeah, let me see that. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's way too expensive. I'm not going to spend $120 for something like that. Okay. How about this nice watch? Oh. Oh. That's way too expensive. Plus, she already has a watch and a phone, so she can check the time of day whenever she likes. Okay, um, what about this nice shirt? It's made with traditional designs, local tailor, only $30. Well, oh, oh no. <sighs> Let me guess, it's the price. Is it too expensive? Well, it's, well, kind of. Didn't you say this was for your wife? Shouldn't you be getting her something nice? I mean, come on. Hey, if you're suggesting that I'm cheap or something, I'll just well, I'll just go to another souvenir shop. They'll probably treat me a lot better than you are. Yeah, good luck. They what? they all closed while you were carrying on. I mean, we closed 15 minutes ago. Oh. You can pick what? up something at the airport if you want, but they'll charge you an arm and a leg. Oh, um, whoa, 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 wait, wait, how much is this candy bar? She really likes chocolate. Are you serious? This is the Snickers bar. It's not even one of their special novelty flavors. You can get this literally anywhere. How about this box of nice chocolates? They're Belgian. Uh, I mean, that's not local, but they're nice. No, 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 no. Whoa, no, 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 Look, no. Just take it. What? I'm done. At least I can do a savior marriage. Hey, hey, why don't we do something fun next week? We have time off. We never do anything fun. Well, I don't know. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking like, okay. Like so, the library? The library's, <laughs> what? The library's boring. <laughs> we can do that anytime. Listen, how about on Monday we go down to the lake and go swimming at the lake? I don't know. I think it's going to be hot that day. And I might get a sunburn. You know Come how tender on. tender my skin is. Wim. <laughs> we can do... Th okay, so Monday, we'll go down to the lake. Tuesday, we're going to go mountain biking. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy, so your tender skin shouldn't <laughs> get burned. Well, that sounds great, but I'd probably crash like I did the last time and break my arm or something. You didn't break your arm last time. You won't break it this time. Come on, we'll go. So Monday, we'll go to the lake. Tuesday, we're going to go mountain biking. Okay. Um, Wednesday, I was thinking we could go fishing. Remember the last time we went? I caught like 10 huge fish. Yeah, I remember. And the only thing I caught was an old boot. And you won't ever, ever let me forget that one. So if we do anything, I'd like to enjoy it. Well, okay then. Um, what do you suggest? Well, all right. Well, we could stay home and, uh, you know, pop some popcorn and play like Scrabble or another board game. You know, something like that. What? You know, I like board games, but we can do that anytime. Why don't we go, listen, Friday or Saturday, we'll do all those things we talked about. And then Friday or Saturday, We'll go on a picnic to the mountains. You won't break your arm. <laughs> you won't get sunburned. It'll be really pleasant. Let's do that, okay? Well. Come on. Let's uh, do it. It'll be fun. Okay, we'll give it a try. Good. Hey, are you leaving now? Yeah. Yeah. Could you give me a ride at the train station? Sure, get in. Oh, I'm glad I caught you. My train leaves in about 20 minutes and I don't have time to walk there. 
Yeah, well, no problem. Oh, I just got a text from my mom about her doctor's appointment. Wait! You're not going to text and drive, are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Watch. Now, look here. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. To be honest, I feel uncomfortable with you trying to do both at the same time. And that's against the law. I had a lot of practice. No, really, really. I'll just walk. Pull over. I can catch the next train. No, no, no. I'm almost finished with this text. Just a second. Watch out! Oh, Oh, no, my car. Oh, no. Oh, no, forget your car. The driver of the other car looks like a pro wrestler, and boy, does he look angry. Oh, no. Oh, no, he just punched that light pole and smashed his car window with his fist. Oh, hey, uh, switch me seats? No. Forget it. I think it would be a good time for you to text or call the police. (gasps) Hey, taxi. Ah, great. Thanks for pulling over. Where to? Well, I'm going to the National Museum of Art and... Sure. Hop in. No problem. Hang on. Oh, (laughs) excuse me. How long does it take to get there? Well, that all depends on the traffic, but it shouldn't take more than 20 minutes for the average driver. Oh. And I'm not average. I have driving down to an art, so we should be able to cruise through traffic and get there in less than 12 minutes. Okay. Uh... Sorry for asking, yeah? but do you have any idea how much the fare will be? Oh, it shouldn't be more than $18, not including uh, <clears throat> a tip, of course. Oh, and by the way, do you know what time the museum closes? Well, I would guess around 6 o'clock. Oh, do you have the time? Yeah, it's half past four. Thanks. Uh, this is your first time to the city, right? Yeah, how did you know? Well, you can tell tourists a mile away in this city because they walk down the street looking straight up at the skyscrapers. Was it that obvious? (laughs) Well... Oh, before I forget, can you recommend any good restaurants downtown Mm -hmm. that offer meals at a reasonable price? Mm, Well, the Mexican restaurant La Fajita is fantastic. Oh... It's not as inexpensive as other places I know, but the decor is very authentic. Okay. And the portions are larger than most places I've been to. Sounds great. How do I get there from the museum? Well, you can catch the subway right outside the museum. There are buses that run that way, but you would have to transfer a couple of times. And there are taxis, too, but they don't run by the museum that often. Okay, thanks. Thanks.